Hello and welcome back to Dani Gluten. Today I'm going to be sharing my shepherd's pie slash eschi pamontier recipe with you guys. I made this back in February for a small dinner party and the girls absolutely demolished it and then requested more, which was awkward because, well, I didn't have any more. <laughs> um, and yeah, they've been asking for the recipe ever since, so here it is guys. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get cooking. The ingredients you'll need for the mash are 450 grams of sweet potato, 450 grams of russet potato or any other high starch potatoes, 2 tablespoons of milk, a pinch of salt, 2 tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and you'll also need a cup or two of water. You'll need to chop up your potatoes and sweet potatoes into small chunks and place in a microwave safe bowl. For the meat section of the dish, you will need 500 grams of mince. I use the beef and pork mix, but you can use your favorite kind of meat. 200 milliliters of boiling water, 70 grams of tomato puree, one tablespoon of olive oil, two cups worth of carrots, two cups of mushrooms, three cloves of garlic, and a selection of spices including a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of tandoori mix, half a teaspoon of celery salt, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mince the garlic, slice the mushrooms, peel the carrots, and then dice them. And finally, for the extra flavor, you'll need a whole courgette, for my Aussie friends, that's a zucchini, a cup of your favorite hard cheese, I used a Belgian cheese called the Vieux Liège, and half a cup of mozzarella. Slice the courgette into slices about half a centimeter thick and grate the cheese finely. Start by placing your mince in a bowl with all the spices and mix it together. Make sure the spices don't clump together but flavor all the mince. Once that's done, place it aside in the fridge. Next, place the diced carrots into a microwave safe bowl and just cover with water and place in the microwave for a couple of minutes until they are just soft enough to push a fork through them but are still crunchy. For the mash, feel free to make it however you usually do. But being a lazy student, I do it in the microwave. All you need to do is add the milk and water to the bowl of potatoes, then microwave on high for 10 minutes. This will soften the potatoes up enough to mash them using a fork or a potato masher. Adding butter and more milk will make the mash creamier. Mash in the nutritional yeast for an extra cheesy flavor. Don't over mash the potatoes, however, or they will go gummy. Now you're going to prepare your meat, but first, mix your tomato puree in with the boiling water, making sure it's all dissolved. Now, in a large wok, heat up your olive oil, then briefly saute the garlic. Add the mince to the hot pan, breaking it up with a wooden utensil. When it starts to brown, add the mushrooms, and when they start turning a light golden color, add the diced carrots and the liquid. Keep it on the heat and stir until the meat is fully cooked, the mushrooms are browned and the carrots are cooked through without being soft. The final step before assembly is to prepare the courgette slices. Lay them out on a plate and sprinkle with some celery, salt and pepper, then microwave for about a minute. And now, all that's left to do is layer all the ingredients in a dish and bake in the oven. Start by spreading a thin layer of mash on the bottom of the dish. This will collect all the juices from the meat. Make sure to get it well into the corners and smooth it out with a spatula or a spoon. Lightly sprinkle it with some grated cheese. Spoon all your meat and vegetable mix over the mashed potato and smooth it out to make it as even as possible. Again, make sure you get some right into the corners and that the whole surface is covered. Line the courgette slices up on top of the meat in a single layer. If your dish is smaller but deeper, you can of course do more than one layer. And then wiggle them around so they don't overlap too much. Carefully top with the mash, trying not to move the courgettes around everywhere. Using two spoons or a spatula and a spoon makes it easier to spread around without just pushing the courgette down into the mix. Make sure you go into the edges and smooth the top. 
and then top it with the grated hard cheese. Now pop it in the oven, preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, for about 20 minutes. Add the mozzarella, then put it back in the oven until the mozzarella has melted. And there you go, a delicious shepherd's parmentier. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye!